Hey all, I hope you're having a good Labor Day weekend and enjoying the uh, three days off this weekend. I wanted to do a really quick review of some of the trading on Friday that we saw in the Discord. I thought it was a relatively slow day, but we did have some up and down action. It was pretty much what we thought with the market and the, uh, the queues that we would just have kind of a go nowhere kind of day. At the beginning of the day, I was looking at Dell. Uh, Dell had earnings and had a pretty big gap from 56 up to the 64 area. I tried to do the take, the break, whichever way it went after this gap. I uh, didn't take it after the one minute. I was actually looking, and this is, this is a one minute chart. I was looking on the fourth minute. I tried to get it here at 66, but missed. I had a, a limit order set because it was spready and thin at the open. It's not it, not an ideal uh, stock to trade on that opening trade when it's again spready and thin. Not not my usual style to be trading something like that with with this trade. But I tried at 66 to uh, go long. I did not get it. I went up. I told you guys around at 9:42. I'll start scrolling over. Obviously, when you have a gap like this, the 20 is going to be you know, moving up because you've got the stock moving up in pretty big fashion. So let me get these bars out of the way. At 9.42 was when I posted that I thought, let's move the chart down a little bit. So at 9.42 was when I posted that red takes that green takes red was in play for Dell. So you had a pullback to the 20 and that's when the real green takes red action started uh, that we talked about a couple of days ago. This I was doing on the one minute again right at the beginning of the day I usually have the one minute up and then switch to the two minute but here on green takes red here on green takes red you would have bought here with a stop here if you miss that one you could have bought here with a stop here so basically like i said because it was kind of thin and spready these stops just take this one for example you're looking at about a 35 cent stop or so uh, this worked this worked for a scalp uh, here you could have done a green takes red again let me get this a little little bigger. That's here. You had a pullback. Green takes red. Again, for a, for a small scalp. But your stop, your stop was here on this one. So basically you're buying at say 68.74 uh, with a stop down at 68.40. So if you did this green takes red again like a you know, decent sized stop with a spready stock you may have you know sold out right here with a with a quick scalp but if not let's say you held it for this move down it never violated the stop it came down pushed through the 20 a little bit but never violated that uh, 6840 level which was the the low in this red candle which is again with your stop it got down to 68.49 and then had a had a really nice move up. Uh, but if you missed that one, you could have gotten in basically here. If you'd done this particular one on the green takes red, you would have gotten would have gotten stopped out. So you, you would have been buying at 68.88. I uh, went up to 68.91, so just a you know a few cents. But if you happen to do that one, you would have gotten stopped out right here when the, uh, the low of this red candle, which was your buy trigger candle, the low was 68.70 and you went through here. So you would have lost around 15 cents, say, uh, maybe a little less. If you jumped right back in to the red takes, to the green takes red here, uh, you would have been buying around 68.84. You had a nice move to you know, 69.35. Obviously, you'd be following that up with a stop. Uh, but 
if you just held on to that, you, you wouldn't have gotten, even on this pullback, you wouldn't have gotten stopped out. If you missed that one, you could have gotten in here. Again, the green takes red at this trigger point, which would have been over this candle, which was at 6901. If you bought that, you had a nice move up to 69.40, 40 cents in a quick scalp. This falls off. You should have been stopped out at 69.30 or 69.20. Uh, get back in again. You're still just riding to see how the 20 is just sloping higher and higher. And you're you're right here. Again, green takes red. Again at 69, you get another move back up to 69.50. Uh, so again, close to 50 cents. Again, this is you know for quick scalps and it's on a one minute chart. Again, here you get a green taking red. You would have gotten in at 69.40. A move up to 69.75 or so. Anyhow, you you, you see the point of how this works out. This last one uh, before Dell topped out. 69.80 up to, to 70. Obviously, if you'd taken here and not taken a stop out, you could have ridden this up. I was looking at it more for the scalping place. So, so I wasn't really you know, trying to make like $3 in one move on this. But it was you know, pretty simple to make 20 to 50 cents, uh, like four or five, six times as, as it was moving up on the one. Okay, so that was Dell switching over to the Qs. As we started moving down around 948 in the Discord, 948 was around here. So I said we'd probably see some buyers at 377. We got down to 377.32, then had a bounce. I came back in, dipped through 377, but basically, you know, around this level, we got another bounce. At this point, your 20 was moving lower. So I wouldn't be big on longs here. You, you want to be looking for shorts here. The Qs works just the same with the, with the, in this situation, since the 20 is slipping down, you're gonna be looking more for red takes green, which would have worked out in several spots here. I'm not gonna go through each of these, but it would have worked here, would have worked here. It would have worked here, would have worked here. So, basically following the 20 as, you, as you're slipping down. But like I said, I, I thought we would see some buyers around 377 or so. And uh, those came in again around 377, 29 was the low here. And in, in this area, we, we dipped just below 377, like a quarter below and got some buyers to pop it back up. We did finally break through that level and then, so we went through 377. We had a pretty strong down move to here. But I'm going to switch actually to the two minute chart here. Close this up a little bit. You can see on Thursday that we had buyers come in around this 376 level, uh, 376 and a half level. So my assumption was, I'm going to close this up. My assumption was when we got to the 376 level here's where you can kind of flip and flip back and forth so if you're looking at the previous day to see where we got down to for a low we were looking at and this is the daily chart we were looking at a low of 376.87 and that's why I had said we would probably get buyers around that 377 level and then the low from the day before which this would have been a Wednesday was 373.86 or 374. So you you had some levels basically uh, where you had buyers coming in. We were a little ways away from the 20, but like I, I had said earlier in the day, I didn't expect anything, you know, any kind of major sell off. So you're kind of looking for close in levels at that point. Uh, let me go back to the two minute. So basically, what we had at this point, at what I was seeing at this point was us getting around that three 376 level where you know we had had buyers near the close the day the day before here around the 375 and a half 375 sorry 
you know, 375 and a half. So I expected we would just kind of bounce around in, in this like 380 to 375 zone. So here, when the 20 curled back up at 12, what time was it? In the Discord, uh, 1227. So it looked to me around 1227, which is about, about here, that we had put in the bottom for the day. I didn't expect us to roll another time. So like I posted in the Discord, I think that's the bottom. I took, and you, and you, you see you have now a rising 20. That's you know, what I was seeing. Was this rising 20, the support from the day before? So now with the rising 20, it's a decent place to take a shot at getting long. And again, it's just a simple, you got a rising 20, green takes red. And that, that, that was it here. I took some uh, TQQQ uh, at this point. Came back up. You got resistance here, which was the, you know, the, this previous high. So, which is exactly where we traded up to. Uh, support and resistance is like, along with, you know, trading the 20 is, I think, by far the the easiest and the best thing you, you can watch as a trader. Um, anyhow, so we traded right back up to resistance. We put in, it's kind of interesting, we put in a double bottom here. And then this is a little bit unusual. We put in a double bottom here as well. Um, and this one, like I, I was, obviously I wasn't you know, making call outs all during this time. Uh, but I took, like I said, I took this and got out here. Uh, then I was you know, off doing lunch and at 242, which was right here, I noted in the discord that we had put in this double bottom from here and here. So at 242, which is right here, uh, you can look for, right, you're, you've still got a falling 20. So you, maybe you don't want to jump in you know, right away, even with the double bottom, but starting here, you had you know a rising 20 this one may have been a little bit early to do a green takes red but but it would have worked uh, with a, a stop under the red here green takes red worked beautifully here green takes red worked again uh, here green takes red worked again uh, once you've got the double bottom in and support you know, support at this level and you got the 20 moving up again you maybe a little aggressive at this spot uh, to to look for you know move higher you have a green take red but a green takes red but you also have you know you're kind of competing a little bit right you've got a falling 20 on the the two minute this is a, a you know two minute chart we're looking at so you've got the falling 20 but you have a nice double bottom at a you know a solid kind of round number level so you could have been a little bit aggressive here but then you had the clear green takes red action playing out for basically the rest of the day at this point. Uh, so that's kind of what we were looking at or what I was looking at trading wise. Just a, again, a quick, you know, quick down and dirty review, just flipping through the charts real fast. Again, I hope you have a good three day weekend. Enjoy the time off, get some much needed relaxation. And I will uh, talk to you guys on uh, Tuesday.